Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Libra. The King of Wands is here. And look at there, the Five of Cups. There's been an ongoing battle of feeling, I don't know, in despair, heartbroken, let down, left out in the cold here. The Death card, Three of Cups, Seven of Swords, and the Justice card is behind this. All right? Somebody who you could have gone through a period, five of cups here of being in isolation. You may have had to accept something or gone like gone through an experience in your life that was heartbreaking. It could have made you feel, you know, some sense of grief or guilt here. This is coming to an end. You could be feeling very disappointed about it ending. Either an ending that has already happened or you know that there is an ending that is coming. All right, three of cups, seven of swords here. Unfortunately, if there is a relationship, okay, it could be a friendship, but there's possibly been some type of deception or betrayal. All right, someone here, you know, there, there's lies, cheating, backstabbing, but you're receiving justice in this situation. So I hope that this is a past situation for you. Um, if it's like a romantic situation, this could have happened to you in the past or your person, or perhaps you and someone are connecting and you both have gone through some type of um, betrayal, but it looks like there is a new beginning here, but you're at the, the end of a cycle here. This is you releasing a lot of, like I said, guilt, regret, or, or pain. The King of Wands is here. So um, the King of Wands is someone who has like a very magnetic energy. It's fire. It's passion. It could be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be. But that's a very fiery, passionate type of energy. This is someone who their love language is, is probably acts of service, physical touch. This is someone that they like to touch. They like to feel. They like to do. They want to get it done. Um, this is the kind of person who is a visionary. Yeah, so, ooh, look, 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 look. King of Wands here, the Three of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Three of Swords. Here's the Seven of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. So right away, what I feel here is for sure, 100%, Three of Swords here. There's been some type of heartbreak, okay? There's been some type of emotional pain or suffering. The Three of Cups is out here. So we have three threes out here. So for some of you, there's definitely been some type of third-party interference, Okay of some sort with a person in your life. You're receiving justice in that situation though, okay? Whatever made you feel like you were backstabbed and betrayed, that situation has ended and you are receiving justice. I know that it hurts, but it's like, um, you should be coming into that final stage of grief where you're finally making your way to acceptance, where you are accepting that there is an ending that has happened here. No, the situation wasn't fair. However, you are going to receive your justice and being able to move forward. You have this King of Wands here for some of you. This is like new love, okay? This could be new love that's coming in. This person wants to work with you. They want to collaborate with you. Seven of Pentacles, they want to invest in you. The Lover's card here, they're choosing you. You're choosing them. The Lover's does speak of a choice. So there is someone else in your energy or there could have been someone in this person's energy. That is being cleared out here because look, you have the Ten of Pentacles. OK, the Ten of Pentacles is doing something traditional. It's long term. It's victory, success, it's rewards, recognition. Um, it's a lot of abundance. It could be marriage. It's building a business. Some of you absolutely with the Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles here, you're stepping into this leadership position in your life. Um where whatever the vision is that you have for your life, you're going to see it unfold. If it's not you, it could also be the person that you're dealing with, okay? Or the person that's coming into your life. There is something that is about to unfold for you or someone in your life possibly that's about to really take off. It's going to be very beautiful. And it, it's, it's, it's worth your time, your effort and your energy to actually invest in this. Someone's hard work is really, really about to pay off. After dealing with a lot of conflict here, conflict, um, five of swords, queen of cups, look, six of swords and the emperor. So um, somebody out here, yeah, there's been 
feelings of, of defeat, you know, after some type of loss or betrayal. But this is saying now that you want to, as the Queen of Cups, step into this more mature, wise, intuitive, even creative like energy. Some of you, you have the type of energy where it's like um, the Queen of Cups and the King of Wands. These two people, you know, are, are different. You know, sometimes water signs and fire signs, they can get along, but sometimes not so much. Because water signs can be very, very, you know, cool, calm, collected, um, intuitive, more observative. And you deal with fire sign people, they're very action oriented. Not to say that they're not also extremely intuitive, but they, they move at a fast pace. Um, but these two energies can work very well together because if you're dealing with someone who has dreams and, and visions, sometimes a, a dreamer, you know, it takes them very long to... <laughs> To get started and you, you meet an action-oriented person, they can help some of those dreams, goals, and visions come into fruition a lot sooner, okay? So, I mean, it, it's, a, it's a balancing act here, but the Six of Swords into the Emperor here, the Emperor Aries, Energy King of Wands, and the, the Emperor, it, it just feels like something here is developing where someone is going through this rebirth in their life after some type of despair and it's opening them up to these new emotions, these new um, offers or opportunities. It's, it's a lot of, there's this energy of being inspired, okay? Someone feels very inspired. The Emperor here, Ten of Pentacles, King of Wands. Somebody feels inspired now to really take lead, okay? And you could be inspiring this person or this person is inspiring you or it's just a healthy connection for some of you. Even if it's something platonic where you and another person, you just feel inspired right now to work together. It's like this, this, um, this inspired action now to let go of guilt and, you know, regret and sadness and really build the life that you've always wanted. So it's like you have these desires of your heart that are trying hard to manifest, but there has been, you know, for sure, um, something hurtful here. Eight of Swords, yeah. And you could still be clinging to this in your mind at times. Now, though, Eight of Cups, it's time for you to walk away from this. And, and look at this. I know right now I'm picking up on a pair by how, because I have the Eight of Swords here and the Eight of Cups. And I have the Four of Pentacles and the Four, the number four, which is the Emperor card. Hmm. So for some of you, you're connected with this King of Wands. I feel like this King of Wands is who's taking action. A lot of people are like, oh, the Emperor is the Divine Master. Not always. <laughs> Sometimes the Emperor is just someone who has, you know, power. They have a foundation. That doesn't mean that they're in the divine masculine energy, though. Because the energies that are around this emperor, there's conflict here, mental conflict, feeling trapped. There's some, there's the energy of this emperor that makes a feminine feel isolated, helpless, like victimized because this person is very possessive or they're really guarded. Okay? This situation is the one that you've either walked away from or you're being encouraged to walk away from. Some of you have been on a journey where it's like you've experienced a lot of loss and betrayal. And as you step into this creative space in your life, moving on, letting go of baggage, you're going to have to let go of this masculine energy here that is very stingy or possessive or controlling or the situation just 
has some type of hold on you that doesn't allow you eight of cups to walk away and experience self-discovery. All right. So you need to be mindful that there's there's someone in your life that won't allow you to discover your true authentic self. And they make you feel very abandoned. And it could have even been like a trauma bond with somebody where the, the, the uh, wound between the two of you is abandonment. But this person hides it. Somebody hides the fact that they deal with a lot of issues around rejection and abandonment with money and power. Yeah, that's what, the, that's what this is. You have a person out here who has betrayed you, I'm sure, seven of swords with lies, scheming, cheating, whatever. You are the empress in this situation and you were hoping to celebrate, have victory and success. But this situation always leads to conflict and failure. And it feels like every time you start to move into a cycle of your life where you are releasing baggage, you run into this energy of this emperor who, who doesn't want to let you go. This person doesn't really want you to discover yourself. But see, you have this king of wands energy out here with the ace of cups. This is this new partnership that someone, three of pentacles, they want to build with you. They want to work with you. They want to build. They want growth. They want expansion. Okay. that They care about the things that, that you care about. The attraction and everything with this person is mutual. You you both are very much invested in building something, whether it's a business or a relationship or or both. This is this this King of Wands. The reason why they're not an they're not showing up as the emperor. Um, they're inspired, though, now to become the emperor. But the, I feel like the king of wands, this person is the one that's actually in the divine energy. They come in and inspire you to be creative. The moon is here. Why is the moon here? So they're, you, you're picking up something intuitively here. The temperance card. You're, for one, you're, you're dreaming of having peace, balance, and harmony. The moon and the temperance card, you have some fear and anxiety, though, around something because it's taking time for it to manifest. But the two of wands here to, to the higher thing, there's decisions being made, but you have to make a decision right now to go towards the thing that is most aligned with your higher self and your, your beliefs and your values. The higher thing here with the tempers, that's like God and the angels, the moon here. There's something, though, that has been hidden or your path into this higher level of consciousness or this higher level of commitment with yourself or with someone else. It requires a decision to be made here. And there could be a little bit of anxiety around the situation. Yeah. Four of Cups and the Fool. Nine of Wands and Seven of Wands. You're going to have to kick this anxiety out. Somebody here is dealing with anxiety about this new beginning. Because there's, there, there's a death to an old version of yourself or relationship, friendship, connection, or whatever. But you're in that place right now where it's like you put an end to something, but you're still waiting on the new version of yourself to show up or this new person to show up. This new person is going to show up in your life um, when the new version of you shows up. And if this person is, if you have someone in your life right now, you're going to see the relationship progress more as you become more comfortable with allowing that. Some of you, it really feels like... Um, Wow, I just literally heard um what's that woman's name? Is her name Jennifer Hudson? My goodness. It just gave me chills. There's a song she has 
It's called um, giving myself. Hold on. I was about to say you haven't allowed yourself to give yourself over to someone, and you 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 can find this song. I think her name is Jennifer Hudson. Yeah, Jennifer Hudson, the song is Giving Myself. Let me see. It says, I never been who I wanted to be. I never felt completely free. No one's ever had all of me or made me feel so beautiful and sexy. Now I'm flying like an airplane. Now I'm riding on the open range. Now I'm living out my destiny. I know the truth. I got it all in you and me. I'm giving myself over to you, body and soul. I'm giving it over. I'm giving myself over to you now. Like a brand new day, now you and I, we're the face of fame. Ain't nobody got nothing to say. No, and from my feelings, I never have to run away. No more because he's here holding me tight every day. And I, well, let me say this too. Because not everyone is looking for a relationship. When I a lot of, when I hear certain songs, you know, especially like certain love songs, it makes me honestly think about our marriage, the the sacred connection that we have to God. Some of you right now are going to find yourself in beautiful connections by first finding the beauty in your connection with God. To hear that song, like, I'm giving myself, it sounds like like a beautiful song for, you know, if you were like a, a, a wedding song, right? But to give yourself over to someone, body and soul, you first have to give yourself over to God. Especially after the heartbreak and the betrayals and the sufferings that you've been through, you need to allow yourself to go through this cleansing and renewal. And that's why I just said, once you're able to give yourself over to God, then you can give yourself over to a person. You know, you want to be able to submit before God and meet a person who can submit themselves before God before you go trying to submit to someone or have them submit to you. You know, I've been getting a lot of messages lately about real like divine love. And some people are already, you know, in relationships. A lot of you are not, you're, but that's what you're manifesting. This is feeling inspired. Like there's a, this, all I'm getting here is a lot of inspiration. You're feeling inspired. Some of you are feeling inspired now to really clean things up in your life. Or, the, or you're connecting with someone and right now they're really trying to clean things up in their life because someone wants to give themselves over to you or you want to give yourself over to someone else. This feels like a lot of um, the energy of being inspired and extremely intentional. Somebody is like, you know, after all of this heartache, all of this pain, you have 333. Like mind, body, soul, I'm I'm ready. I'm re I'm ready. I'm ready to give this pain over to God. I'm I'm ready to stop fighting this battle. Somebody out here could be dealing with a lot of grief, an addiction, or whatever. But you're like, you know what? I'm I'm ready to just give this over to God. Now th this is more than what I signed up for. It's more than what I can handle. And I feel like as soon as you do that, there is an opportunity here that comes in, like I said, it could be in business, it could be in love, it could be all of the above. But there is something here that is of great value. It's worth, it's worth you putting in the time and effort and energy into. It's going to be beautiful, but there's something here still that had you feeling trapped. It was hard for you to walk away from something. But now with the Eight of Cups, you're looking for meaning in life. And if you're looking for meaning in, for the true meaning in life and your purpose, you do you need to go to God. It's not going to a person. You need to go to God. And 
you know, set the intentions that a person, another person, if you manifest, them, they need to go through God before they can get to you. And if that's a requirement, that means you first have to go through God also. This is a very powerful energy. So like I said, in the two words, I'm getting inspired and intentional. something creative or romantic here but the hermit is here this is just like it's new it's new it's young it's pure it's flirty it's small you know not not too many um nothing here is there, there's no obligations some of you are going to find a lot of beauty. And, and now that I'm looking at it, look. The Tempers, the Hierophant, the Two of Wands, Patience, and the Hermit. Some of you, this is like you really embracing another level of your spiritual journey. It's a lot of soul searching here. Like, you tapping into this inner guidance, like with God, your angels, your spiritual team. And by you letting go of your attachment to certain outcomes or expectations and just saying like, Lord, I'm just giving myself over to you at this point. You taking your hand off of the wheel is what's going to allow it to spin and it's going to land right where you want. I'm seeing it. It's like when you take, when you, you spin it, which is you just saying, God, take it. The wheel is going to spin and it's going to hit right on the jackpot of where you need it to be. But you cannot touch the wheel anymore. You got to take your hands off of it. You don't need to touch it. If this is a relationship, there's nothing more that you need to do. If it's a job, a business, I mean, do your part. But you don't. It's the, the feminine energy. The feminine creates and nurtures. You don't have to force or control anything. A person who understands that they create, you don't have to force anything because if something doesn't go the way you want it, you just create it, you know? There's this extremely calming energy here, though. Some of you, wish you're just experiencing peace. Some of you have recently had encounters also with, you know, angels or, you know, passed on loved ones, ancestors, guides. But some of you also, you're being filled with the Holy Spirit. And a lot of people, oh, Holy Spirit. But I mean, when you really experience the Holy Spirit, it's a, it's a calmness. It's a peace that comes over you after being emptied of everything. And that's what I feel here. Your inner child, you know, the inner child wounding is, you're being emptied out. It's also going back to a place of being childlike. You know, children, they, they see all kinds of stuff and they don't really have much judgment like that. They're so, but children also, they're very tuned in and tapped in to spirit. But, you know, you have to teach a child to be mean or prejudiced or, you know, they're, they're taught those things by their environment. So for some of you, because you are choosing now to go on this journey of self-discovery, and you're not allowing things in your environment to, to shape uh, shape you or shift your perspective so drastically about things, especially from your past. It's allowing you now to see the beauty in life and love, but most even in yourself and in God. Which allows you to attract 
things that are more beautiful. Nine of Cups. It's love. It's love. You're going to find love with another part. Look, Manifestation, the Magician. You guys, right now, though, I can tell, I see why this is, let me, let me say this. The Page of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and the Devil is here in the Four of Swords. This is whatever the situation is. The Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles speaks about learning something. You're learning about a betrayal. Or you've learned, you've, you've gotten all the information that you needed. Ten of Swords, it can't get any worse than this. You, you've you learned about a betrayal, about someone lying, cheating, their addictions, their obsessions, their manipulation. You know the truth about it. And Spirit is saying, you know what? Just give it over to me. Four of Swords, take a rest, take a break, cleanse yourself, don't worry about it. Why? Because seven of wands, two of cups, six of pentacles, you are protected. You fought a good fight. You will be given the two of pentacles, um, two of cups, six of pentacles. There's going to be a friendship, a partnership, a relationship where it's six of pentacles. It's equal give and take. It's generous. Someone wants to share kindness with you they want to assist you they want to help you i just feel though for a lot of you three of wands here this has a three of wands and look at the high priestess this has a lot to do with something going on with you spiritually the two of swords is in the reverse there's no more stuck stagnant stalemate energy and look at that king of swords king of pentacles and then the ace of pentacles you have to make a choice there's been two people in your energy and three is a crowd if the, if the third energy in your relationship is not God, three, the third person is a, is a real crowd. They got to go. Oh, let me see something. Keep hearing that song playing in my head. Wait a minute, guys. I'm, there's a day I'm, I'm seeing a card in my head. Um, I hope I have the deck out. I know I hear it somewhere. Bear with me, please. I'm seeing a card. I think it's okay. I found them. <laughs> I feel, let me say this because I posted a reading today earlier and I don't know when you may see this, but um, I was talking about a divine couple who has survived a lot of spiritual attacks and warfare. And I, I truly feel in that reading, it's two people who have called spiritual judgment in their lives and they're receiving karmic justice. I'll, I'll be honest with you. A lot of you, oh, okay, I get it. A lot of you have, through your spiritual journey, of course, you have connected more with God. Through your relationship with God, you have more faith in yourself and your relationships. The reason why th there is a relate there is a romantic relationship here, but this romantic relationship is coming in because of the solid foundation that you have created with your creator, the person who created you, the energy that created you and your person. Okay. The reason why this is so calming is because 
God is all over whatever this connection is. Okay? It could be for some of you business. God is saying, yes, I approve of this. Okay? It could be a friendship. It could be a new mentor. It could be, you know, the love of your life. Um, it could be you being prepared for parenthood. God is like, yes, I'm positioning you. This is okay. You know, I know the storm that you came out of, but this is okay. I, I, I approve of this message. I approve of whatever this is that you're doing. All I need you to do is to move forward. That's, that's it. Wow. Y'all, when I tell you, look at this. Manifestation and commitment. Like, when I tell you I want to cry, <laughs> look at that card. And you see, literally, there's like a black bird here and a white one. Commitment. Manifestation. So, you guys, you're manifesting a commitment. And with the manifestation of this commitment, it is, it's uh, like this dark and light energy. And dark and light doesn't, dark doesn't mean bad. But the darkness is like with that page of cups, you understanding that you and even another person, you do have your own inner child wounds or whatever. And you're saying that's OK, though, you know, it, it's, it's OK. You're not perfect. I'm not perfect. And you're making the decision to to just to, to evolve. It doesn't have to be perfect because perfect doesn't really exist. But here, this is also too like in the in the spiritual realm, you and someone have possibly been manifesting a commitment. Oh my gosh, this is so but like I said, but you've been grieving. You've been grieving over relationships and connections that have not been able to manifest in the way, and now you need to give yourself compassion. Okay, some of you with with talent, while wow, talent, career, and financial health, like I said, there is something major here when it comes to a financial breakthrough or blessing. Some of you are going to manifest your ideal partner through something that you do for work, right? You're going to meet this person while working or coming together for a project. It's going to teach you something about relationships and partnerships where the two of you are going to like on this, you're going to weave something together. You and someone's hearts are being like tied together, but through some, some bigger purpose. There's, there's been compassion here or there will be somebody is going to, I mean, someone literally is going to take a heart and love it. Like, take a heart that they didn't break. And I mean, honestly, that's, that's God too, you know. But there is a relationship here. But I'm picking up the presence of both. It's like, but God has his hand on this. It is safe. Some of you, though, you're very focused on manifesting a commitment. And before you get to talent, the career and the financial health, there's a need here for the healing. Because you've been grieving something, which is here. It's this deception, this betrayal, this devil. And for some of you right now, you know, we are in this eclipse energy, you're you're getting the confirmations about things that have been done to you that you had suspected, but now to get the information, the truth, it's like, whoa. And getting the confirmation that that chapter has to close and it can never reopen, that book has to close, yeah, you grieve that. But let me say, it's just like a person who is a widow. Some people, you know, you can really feel like you have the love of your life, but death is something that nobody can control, all right? You never know when a relationship is going to come to an end. 
but you should continue to allow yourself to live. And if it is God's purpose to send you someone else that's going to love you in a new season, allow it. Some of you, you're grieving the loss of a friendship or relationship. Um, it could even be a, a relationship with like a, a family member. And I feel like God is saying, grieve, but show yourself compassion and also allow me to bring in someone who's also going to be patient and compassionate with you. You have the moon here and the tempest with the hierophant. You have anxiety about things. You, you want to proceed with a lot of caution. But this is God saying, it's okay. You were patient. And because of your, your patience and your self-control and how you handled, for many of you, the way that you handled how other people treated you, you're receiving your biggest blessing, your biggest reward, because you never did to other people what they did to you. Honestly. That's how I see it. Also, too, with commitment, being here with grief, you need to be committed to healing. Although this, I see this beautiful connection here, this connection is still behind something. There's still another step. You need to continue to be committed. So for some of you, you could even be in a situation now. Don't be surprised that there is not some type of separation. Because for whatever you've gone through, this deception or betrayal, it's like you need time out to heal. You don't want to take any remnants of that past situation into something new. Being committed right now to you manifesting the life that you want and going through this grieving process where you allow yourself to finally reach acceptance is going to allow you to be more compassionate towards people, talent, career, financial health. And when you really love yourself and you really love people and you allow yourself to fully be in alignment, the money, the blessings and everything else just flow. You won't experience so many blockages. You won't keep feeling trapped. And some of you, you need to stop being afraid of commitment. This fear of commitment, it could be showing up in multiple areas of your life, in relationships, and even you committing to yourself. Some of you are afraid to fully commit to God because you've been hurt. Or, or even being fully committed to your purpose. You don't want to be hurt. You don't want to be rejected. You, you know, you don't really want to fully embrace the unknown. Reconciliation. <laughs> Reconciliation. Look at that. Freedom and forgiveness. Freedom, forgiveness, and here's a card. Closure. Wow. Infertility. Home. You're creating home. Some of you, this is a time to work on, like... You're in a spiritual nesting phase. Like, create the home that you want. Create the sacred spaces that you want. Create the habits, the, the rituals, the routines that are going to allow you to manifest exactly what you want. But again, this keeps showing up. There has to be forgiveness. Forgiveness of people will hurt you and forgiveness of self is going to free you. from grieving and bring you closure. It's the acceptance, the, the stages of grief. You go through being sad, angry, isolated, whatever. But the final stage is acceptance. A realizing there's something here in your life. It has ended. It has been eclipsed out. It's not coming back. But God is here saying, and it's okay that it's not coming back because what I truly have for you is either right in front of your face or it's well on its way. So right now, 
if you haven't accepted it, be committed to accepting the endings. And through forgiveness, you find freedom. Some of you are going to develop more gifts, talents, and abilities. You may choose to make a career out of sharing a gift, talent, or an ability. And you can make financial help. It'll be prosperous and abundant for you. We have a three of pentacles and a ten of pentacles. And then reconciliation is here. For some of you, this is you reconciling with yourself. It's you reconciling with, with God. It's you. It's something here is, is mending. And then you see this travel car here. And this lady obviously is with child. This, you know, everyone is not interested in, you know, or or able to have babies, but it's it's you birthing something that will be contributed to this universe. It's you, I don't know, you could be birthing anything, a business, a, a baby, or a, a new recipe, a book, whatever it is. Some of you through your your grief, your pain is where your purpose is and it's going to give birth to some type of creative project that's going to allow you to travel and to have great money and you're going to be very happy. But it's like right now, you have to commit to this. You have to be committed to this new version of yourself. And you have to stay committed. And now I'm going to say this. I feel like the reason why I see this relationship here, but it's not, it's not actually at the forefront of this reading of this energy. And I'm going to tell you why, because I'm picking up the energy of like God, like the Holy Spirit heavy. God is saying, whatever you do next, you better make sure that you stay fully committed to me. Whoever or whatever comes in your life, it should not come before you and your relationship with God. It should not come before your purpose. That's why there's this period here of nesting. Prepare yourself. Prepare your mind, your spirit, your body, 333, your home, your finances. Prepare for something to enter that is supposed to bring value. Because if you are not prepared for what you're going to do is you're going to go out and start once again, like all of us are guilty of doing, is trying to pour from an empty cup. Don't pour from an empty cup. Pour from an overflow of abundance that you've created for yourself in this season of, of nesting and preparation. Something is already written for you, so you don't need to be impatient about it. So really, it's God is preparing you for your, your, your purpose, your partnerships. But this time, you have to stay committed to yourself. And most people who have come out of these toxic karmic you know, situations and cycles, that was always a problem. Everybody else came before you. And if they came before you, that means that they came before God too in your life. And I've been saying that for a while. You have to give up this, this idolatry. No person, no relationship should you be look selling out self-love. No one should make you stop investing in yourself and focusing on self-love. Because sell, this is what will eventually happen. You will sell out. You will you know, convince yourself that something is... It's safe, it's secure, it's stable, whether it's a relationship, friendship, or a job. And you will get off course and settle for it. You don't have to sell out. You don't have to accept less than what you want and become impatient. Some of you, this is, you have relationships, right? they're not for you. And for some of you, there's relationships that are developing and you need to allow it to fully develop. Don't rush it. 
I just feel like there's still something here. Yeah, wild. There's still something here for you to discover. And it's okay sometimes to discover things about yourself with someone. You, I'm not saying you have to discover things and heal alone. There, there's a difference between, you know, soul searching and, and placing yourself in isolation and just really diving deep in like your own healing and introspect. Like, you know, just a period of introspection. Introspection doesn't have to mean isolation. Some people don't fully heal because they don't allow anyone in their life. People in your life, they're like, a, they're a mirror to you. They're going to show you something about yourself, either something dark or something that's great. The goal is to find someone that's going to show you your light and shadow attributes. And you know that they're going to love you for both. Wow, say what you mean. This has been coming out a lot lately. I feel like a lot of people in the collective, you're supposed to be sharing your voice about something. Sexual arts here. Some of you also too are going to have to start being more expressive about what you want. When it comes to connections, like you get to determine the dynamic, your relationship dynamic, the gender roles, or you, you determine that. You determine with this sexual arts card, like what the feminine and the masculine energy is going to do for you to blend with alchemy and create the magic that you want with yourself and in your partnerships. It, it's, it's you stepping into this. It's like you're, you're controlling your life now and being unapologetic about what you want, but but surrendering to God at the same time. You're not trying to be too controlling. I want one more card. One more. Unless there's, there's no more. Okay, thank you. Courage. See? You gotta find the courage to let go of sadness. And this is so... Oh, I love this. The reading I just did, if I'm not mistaken, in the thumbnail, I may have put two people found their light or something like that to call um, for judgment in a situation. And look at this. You see this person? He has his lantern with courage. And you see, she has her lantern with the wild card. You and someone both are finding the courage to be truthful, to be authentic, to go on your path, on your journey, through the darkness, through the wilderness, right? To come together. Some of you, if you're in connections or you find or you're going into one, one of the things that is going to be very important is your communication alchemy saying what you mean and mean what you say it goes back to like i said there's power in the tongue being intentional and making sure that you're saying things that are going to inspire someone or you want to attract the person they're going to say things that are inspiring to you like you want someone to affirm you but I, the love language is, is possibly very important to someone here say what you mean is like um Words of affirmation, sexual arts here, you know, quality time, physical touch, but this wild and courage card, and then you have 15 and 30, 15 times two is 30. This, you know, something is doubling up, like the energy here is being amplified and alchemy. This is manifestation. You're manifesting from your true role as the feminine or masculine. And balancing your feminine and masculine energy. So it's going to draw in someone who is also balanced. Therefore, the roles and the dynamic of the relationship, it'll be very healthy. This is 
um, interesting too because on this card, you see this lady, she's alone with this man. There's like this lady here and you can tell she, she, she's toxic. <laughs> you can, you can look into, so you can have someone now that's releasing themselves from something that has been some type of stronghold in their life. And it could also be you. Okay. This is you guys overcoming like fears around, like I said, being authentic, the fear of commitment, the fear of failure, the fear of success. Choosing like the king of wands energy to be bold. Not limiting yourself. Every blessing has a challenge and every challenge has a blessing. So you got to stand up for who you truly are and what you really want. Okay. This is amazing. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> this deck has the lantern at the bottom. It's something here about lanterns. Wow. And then you have forgiveness here. Forgiveness, this is in two different decks. So you're being guided through the act of forgiveness. Consciousness is like the lantern. That is so crazy. Oh my gosh. Here's another lantern. This is four cards with lanterns on it. Isn't that so cool? That is so... That is really, really... I don't know. This is like gave me... A lot of joy. <laughs> that is so cool, though. This is all about... Even this person here, she actually has two lanterns. And I'm seeing, like, like a... You know how... If you look at... She looks like, like, like a scale. And with alchemy... The the conscious, oh, this is so beautiful. The consciousness that you and another person share or that, that you have is coming into balance. Like they're on their journey, you're on your journey. Spiritual journeys, right? Wait a minute, let me, I'm gonna get the book to see what this card says and, um, and then I'll be done. Let me see. Oh, this is so nice. I hope y'all are enjoying these readings. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Y'all know I just came back. I'm trying. The, the channel still has not gotten back in rotation. <laughs> okay, it says consciousness is like the crone has completed the circle of phases and perspectives pertaining to feminine consciousness. And let me say this, men have feminine consciousness as well. Men have to learn how to receive. There's a lot of men who have been in very bad situations. And so this is a this is a, a, a possible partnership here between two people who have been hurt and they are struggling to fully receive love. I feel like by going to God and allowing yourself to elevate and to evolve spiritually is going to allow you to embrace self-love and the feminine energy. There is a, a balancing of feminine energy between a man and a woman or just between two people, you know. Not everyone is in heterosexual relationships. Um, but all of this balancing and temperance energy with alchemy is the blending of two. Okay, let me see. The lanterns hanging from the featured crone's wrist illuminate her world with the clarity of having integrated her spirit self with herself. She has successfully released all of the illusory filters that had created limiting effects on her mind and fed the unhelpful aspects of the ego. Remember I said that earlier? It's something out here that you've been holding on to and now you've finally gotten enough clarity or confirmation to make peace with it because... 
it's the divine timing for something to close out. It says the white light of love that the crone is can now reach all that is within her periphery. Without judgment or expectation, she is now capable of objectively observing all with compassionate consideration and calm compo composure. Didn't I just say that it feels so calm and peaceful? <laughs> and how right now you just need to take your hands off the wheel. Yo, that is crazy, right? All matters in life are neutral. Many are not conducive to the meaning and significance that we or others impulsively attach to them. When we view predicaments without emotion or the significance it holds for us, how things make sense beyond our personalization of them are illuminated. To separate ourselves from the drama, assumptions, and heightened emotions is to see rather than react according to the underlying dynamics at play. This affords us access to the empowered capacity to choose whether to participate in what is being triggered or projected onto the situation. Didn't I say before that there is more than one person in your energy and some of you are struggling with this fear of commitment or fail, the fear of failure or success because there is an illusion here that is being presented to you because of a situation that has closed, but it hasn't been fully accepted by you or the other person. So it's like you have a person in your energy for some of you. They haven't accepted that something is over and maybe they're still holding on to you and a part of you may still be holding on to them or the idea of them. But then you also have a cycle with someone else in your life and both of you are wrapping up the same cycle of getting over something that you need to accept. So there's just a lot of eclipsing energy here which makes sense we did just have an eclipse okay i'm, I'm not gonna read all of this but i'm gonna i just saw this all that is needed for the light to be turned on so that the obstacle can be recognized as a positive lesson tool growth insight or gift that it is you are always met with teachings and forms that match whatever you whatever way you are available to receive them at that moment each teaching is necessary for your learning of another better way in your progression. So like I said, you have to have compassion. Whatever you're grieving, you need to find compassion and practice the act of forgiveness to free yourself. 